Homebrew Robotics Club meeting. Uh, we have tons of chairs back there. If you don't have a seat, grab a chair and uh, we can fill in this area a little if you want. Okay. Um, it's officially 7 o'clock. So, uh, you know, if you feel like it, you can start helping us eat some of the food that's back there. So let me introduce myself. My name is Wayne Bramlick, and I'm the current president of the Homebrew Robotics Club. Uh, I usually ask, how many people is this their first time here? Very good. Very good. Okay, uh, this is Hacker Dojo. Uh, how many people is this their first time to Hacker Dojo? Okay. Okay. Um, Hacker jo Dojo is a really cool place. Um, it's basically a community of people who like to interact with one another. Okay, so when you come here, you're basically allowed to walk up to people and when you see them doing something interesting, you can say, that's interesting, could you tell me what you're doing? Okay, uh, and meetings like this, you know, if you're a member, you know, you're here in Hacker Dojo, come on in, you know, all meetings are open. Um, so that's what Hacker Dojo is all about, okay? Now the most important thing is where are the restrooms? And that green um, room in the center of the area, they're on the other side of it. Okay, that's where the restrooms are. Okay. And that's that's kind of the most important uh, thing is like where, where to go when you gotta go. Okay. Um, so since this is the first time for a lot of you, I'll tell you uh, what the agenda is. Normally we do an hour of show and tell, followed by a little break, and then we do a talk. And then when the talk's over, we just sort of wander around and talk to one another. Now tonight is the 12th annual uh, Homebrew Robotics Club Challenge, okay? Uh, I'm gonna let Camp here, you know, be the MC of, of the challenge meeting tonight. Um, but what we, uh, so that's the overall agenda. We do club related stuff first. I'd like to ask if we have anybody, any people that did they go to the uh, Spark Fun event this past weekend? Nobody came. We'll have to hope that somebody will show up who went. Okay. Um, let's see, how many people were here at the last meeting? the Google thing? Okay. Uh, so I've been getting a bunch of people asking like what happened. And what happened was sort of one of these unfortunate confluences of events. The, uh, that room and the restrooms were kind of protected from the rest of the Google facility by car keys. Uh, card keys. Um, unfortunately, the uh, uh, custodial staff didn't know that there were nine Google people in the room. So they propped open a door to the rest of the facility because they thought everybody was Google. And apparently curiosity got the better part of a couple of our members and they wandered into the more secure area of Google and got caught. We don't know their names, I don't really care, but we were sort of asked like, and eh, maybe you shouldn't be, be going to this particular Google facility. So. That's why we're meeting here tonight, okay? Next month, we're gonna be meeting back at Google at the uh, one of the Crittenden uh, conference rooms. We've got, do people remember the Olympus Mons conference, uh, yeah. conference room? Yeah. Okay, I believe they have rebuilt that. They opened up a new one elsewhere in the building, okay? So we're gonna be going to that one. I don't know what its name is. So watch the space for uh, the, um, the, new, uh, the next meeting, okay. Um, any other club-related news? Yeah. I have a question because we paid dues and signed up last month, but didn't end up on the mailing list. The mailing list is, okay, let me get this straight. The secretary treasurer is not here tonight, okay. And it's actually pretty important that he be here because he's got the list of new members we have to vote in tonight. And that's important. Okay, so, um, now with regards to getting onto the mailing list, does the HBRC mailing list, you have to do that yourself. Okay, 
So you go to the website, and I have not done it in like 10, 15 years, okay? So I can't, I can't tell you how it's done because I've been in the club that long. But you go to the website, uh, figure out how, how to join the mailing list. It's, it's just the Google Groups mailing list. Uh, you, you say, hi, I want to you know, join. And we, we let everybody in, okay? Yeah, we let everybody in. Everybody initially is on moderation, just so you know. Uh, and uh, we've actually been pretty good about with, with the mo you know, moderation times. We're averaging about an hour um, from the time people post till, till we release them, okay? And that means we keep all the spammers out because we get a lot of spammers who sign up. Okay, so that's how you get into the mailing list. Now, we, I still have to track down um, Osman. Brandon, where's Brandon? Right here. Was Osman at work today? No, he's on vacation. He's uh, taking a couple of weeks off. I cannot believe he didn't deal with this. Uh, we have an issue. Okay, I have to be creative here. Okay, uh, we have never ever in our club history Vote not accepted anybody into the club. We have a list of about eight people who are supposed to be admitted into the club. I don't know their names. For technical reasons, we'd like to get them into the club tonight because some of them are going to go to RoboJam, which, which Camp will tell you about, and they need to be club members when they go to RoboJam for legal reasons. We don't want to go there. So get, I'm going to do something a little out of you know, they were supposed to name off the list of members. I think I have to give the names. You have the names? Robo, I'm, uh, the Robo Jam guys. Um, okay, why don't you read off the Robo Jam names? Let me, give me a second. Okay. And we'll, you know, some of them are, most of them are already members, but we want to make sure all the Ro Robo Jam people are in the club. Okay, it's a legal thing. Okay. Um, oh. So he's, he's going to bring that up. And, yeah, and I presume that. anyone else can wait a month without any detriment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. It's, it's, and I want to make this clear. If you're going to RoboJam but not bringing a robot, you don't have to worry about this. It's only people who are bringing a robot and we want them to be in the club. And since I'm waiting for camp to bring up the list, the issue is the Alameda County Fairground does not have a, a true blanket insurance policy. So by, by being a member of the club, we get something called a liability shield because we're California Unincorporated Association. And so it, it's kind of a, a, a legal, legal thing. Um, what it means is basically if some, something goes bad, they sue the club rather than sue you. And that's really all, all we're trying to do. And we, we're not going to do anything bad anyhow, so this is really not an issue. Find them all? Just bad. Okay. I cannot believe Osmond took off. We knew we, we had to do this. This fine resolution. Right. He emailed me earlier in the week. What? I said he even emailed me earlier in the week about, like, you know, did I pay him? Blah, 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 right. I mean, I just, I, you know. He's, so, he's usually extremely reliable, so I, I just, you know, the, the concept they took, you know, did, didn't cover this is amazing to me. Yeah, the, it, the concept of anybody in this valley taking vacation is astounding. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to work with this as well. You, know, you just read them off and okay. then we'll vote them all in. Okay. Uh, that's Jared Peters, uh, Steve O'Kay, uh, Ralph Ganaw, although kind of question that guy. Yeah. Uh, Steve Joyce and Nathaniel Lewis. And Bob Allen. I know Bob Allen. And Bob Allen. Right. Anybody else? Okay. If you're a club member, please raise your hand if you would like these people to join. Okay. And I have to ask if anybody would like to vote against these people, please raise your hand. We, we've never seen anybody raise their hand. So welcome our new members. Thank you. What? I'll email those names. Yeah, okay. Wait, but somebody raised their hand right here. This guy. Uh, oh, yeah. He's not a member, though. Okay. Already so I'm going to hand this over to Camp, who's going to be the RMC for the uh, 12th annual Homebrew Robotics Club. Uh, so thank you very much. Before, before, thank you. Before we uh, go there, 
uh, this weekend some of us are going to be at the Alameda County Fair, just kind of an outreach program. We're hosting something called uh, Robo Jam, and we're going to have a Robo Magellan contest. Uh, and um, Julie Wu's daughter, Laurel, made these wonderful, I call them proto trophies. This is going to be the, uh, the first place Robo Magellan uh, trophy. The arms even move and everything. Like the camp? And then uh, this will be second place. It's half scale. <laughs> and uh, this will be third place. Uh, it's quarter scale. And so this is part of the Blockhead family, and these are going to be the, uh, these are the proto-trophies uh, for the uh, Robo Magellan Contest uh, at Robo Jam, which is going to be this weekend at the Alameda County Fair. So, um, could yes. You, could you show those for the video? They're, yes. they're behind the skeleton. Yes, yes. So, this is the um, uh, gold medal. Uh, this is the silver. It's like full scale, uh, half scale, and quarter scale. They're a little rough. That's why they're proto trophies. <laughs> All right. So Robo Magellan is a contest where you're given GPS coordinate, and you build a robot that can um, uh, traverse like a hundred yard playing field and touch the orange cone. And we have an orange cone in the back parking lot. Steve, are you ready to go? Uh, yeah. Okay. We've got two Robo Magellan robots here, totally unrehearsed, folks. We're going to carry these out to the back parking lot. So we're going to single file, no running, no pushing, no shoving. We're going to reconvene in the back parking lot, okay? And then we'll bring it back inside after we've done this. Oh, there you go. Oh, Bad. Smashing into things, so I just set it to be on target. 